it shows it shows that you don't have to be like any special kind of musician or something like this. Uh, you just have to be sort of interested in art and wanting to learn how to re record sound and, and uh, creating a loop, basically. So I invited uh, the guy up to the left. His name is Jakob Kierkegaard from uh, Denmark. He's very much a conceptual artist, a uh, conceptual sound artist, and also an uh, 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 electronic music uh, performer. And then up to the right is Finn Bogi Petterson from Iceland. He's known mostly as uh, um, installation artist, sound artist, and a sculpture. Uh, very well known for his sound works, but not a performer at all. And then the, the woman uh, underneath is Maya Urstad from no uh, Norway. She was entirely sound installation artist from Bergen. And the guy uh, to the left, uh, his name is uh, Jim Thurlwell. And he's m more known as a rock musician. Uh, later uh, t turned in, like in the late n uh, 90s, more turned into a, a composer. Uh, composing pieces for the Kronos uh, Quartet. He's, he's from Australia originally, but he's, uh, well, more or less considered an American now. Then I invited uh, to the left up there Ken Tankrid, who, who is an innovator of in instruments and a performer with a duo called Sons of God. To the right, Per Magnus Lindborg. He's a classical composer working with uh, instrumental music and electroacoustic mu uh, music in a very classical way. And down to the left, um, uh, you probably recognize Petri Nisunan and Tommy Grönlund, who are trained uh, architects and uh, uh, known as uh, uh, sound installation and uh, object installation artists. Uh, also, uh, one of them is a DJ and, and runs a record co company. And to the right is Franz Pomasel, who comes from the techno world. He also ru uh, runs a, a, a label and uh, uh, plays uh, electronic music, noise music, and uh, that. Then you have Brandon LaBelle uh, to the left. He's like a, a theory guy, wrote a couple of books on uh, the history of um, electronic mu uh, music. But he, he's also like an installation artist and a conceptual artist. To the right over there is Mike Harding. He runs a record company in London called Touch, and he doesn't want to call himself an artist at all. He's, an, he's a producer. And, and to, the, to the left here is BJ Nilsson from, from Sweden, who is a uh, recording and performing artist, electronic and, and uh, um, yeah, mostly electronic and, and uh, field recordings. And to the right is a girl from Nor uh, Norway, an artist called Jana Vindran, who is a in sound installation artist and also works a lot with uh, sort of underwater uh, sounds uh, using hydrophone techniques. So you can see that there's a whole variety uh, of people from various fields. Um, and this was important uh, for me because I don't, I don't judge people from really what they do, but what they're interested in. Uh, in terms of spaces, uh, I, I didn't really intend to, to curate any more of this. I mean, this was the first uh, time, and, and but the Copenhagen event went really well, and uh, I was invited uh, to Norway, to this place, Henje Onstad Center, to, to do a second um, installation of this work and um, I intended to invite new artists but the artists that I had invited before uh, in Copenhagen uh, they were they went pretty they were pretty pissed off when they heard that I was going to invite other artists because they thought it was quite a nice exhibition so I said uh, okay I will invite the same artists again and if somebody cannot come, then I will take in a new one. D dictator as I am, I can make these kind of rules. 
So the same uh, artists came again. So I had, had to rotate the uh, frequency spectra so they didn't get the same frequency ranges again. So each artist got a new frequency um, to, uh, to compose with. So they had to spend uh, four days in Oslo doing the new kind of work with their new frequencies. Mm. I think now that since we have the Henje Onstad Center up, um, this is what it looked like when, um, when we set up the gear. We have some ha having a lunch break over there and there's some kind of discussions over. It's also important in this work that the artists help each other if somebody needs some help because there w might be some technology that somebody uh, doesn't know anything about. Um, one of the most important things is that all the artists respect each other's work. They might not like what the others do, but they respect what the others do. It's very much built upon generosity and uh, respect. In the music world, this is quite known. I mean, musicians fo form bands all the time, orchestras play, conductors conduct, but in the art world, which is, much, which is a much more egocentric place, uh, visual artists have a really hard time to, to uh, respect each other's. They rather would like to compete with each other's. Everybody wants to be number one. Anyway, can we play the first uh, track? The first tra track, just like one or two minutes, is from the Henje Onstad uh, Center in uh, 